So today, I'm here to teach you how to grow an ear using fat. Now, you're probably thinking I'm either crazy or wasting my time, because this has already been done before. You've all seen the photo of the mouse with the ear on its back? Well, sadly, it hasn't. Whilst this made for a great photo, it's not delivered us anything we've been able to translate to human use. So why is it important? Well, one in every 4,000 children are born missing either one or both of their ears. And the surgical procedure that we perform to reconstruct this requires us to remove ribs from the patient, and the cartilage from those ribs is used to carve a new ear. This is a major operation with significant risks and significant complications. And therefore, I believe there must be a better solution. And the ability to grow an ear would be a major step forwards. So back to our mouse. It didn't fix the problem, but it showed us two key principles that if you want to engineer any tissue, you need one of two things. Firstly, the right type of cells. And secondly, the right scaffold on which they will grow. And this is the basis of my project, to identify cells and scaffolds that I can use to grow cartilage for ear reconstruction. So the human body is an organism whose lifespan is measured in decades. But the individual cells which comprise it have a lifespan which is measured in only days. It's therefore intuitive that the body must contain populations of cells that are capable of replenishing and renewing itself. And these are our stem cells. Mesenchymal stem cells, the stem cells that can regenerate cartilage, live in direct relationship to the smallest of blood vessels found throughout the human body. This means that we can purify these stem cells from a readily accessible, and in my case, readily abundant source. <laughs> Adipose tissue is a fantastic source of stem cells. So I found the cells. Now I need to find the scaffold. Polymers. Polymers are long chains of molecules which have shown the ability to support cell growth. Using a special printer, I've screened a library of over 2,000 individual polymers. And from that, I've identified five specific polymers which allow my stem cells to attach, proliferate, and then subsequently differentiate into cartilage-like cells. The final 12 months of my project is going to be dedicated to turning these polymers into three-dimensional scaffolds that I can use to grow pieces of cartilage for ear reconstruction. Am I excited about my project? Yeah, I really am. <laughs> Are you excited about what you've heard? I really hope so, and thank you for listening. <laughs>